Hey guys, welcome back to this problem 17 from the fundamentals of chapter 2. If you guys are feeling comfortable with this material, I recommend just moving to the next video, which is, or problem 18, if you can find it. Um, that one's a bit more challenging and it rounds up everything that you've already been covering for the last uh, few videos. If you're still struggling, stick around with this video. Alright, so we're going to be expressing this force this 750 newton force as a Cartesian vector. All right. So again, we have to dissect this. Right. So we have to look at this light blue plane, making that 45 degree angle. So we know that this this is what we've been calling our f x y because it lies on the x y plane plus our f z because parallel to the z-axis, okay? So let's just do that right away. So we know it's gonna be 750 square root of two over two, and fxy, 750 square root of two over two. Times square root of two over two. So for both of these, we get 530.3, 530.3 uh, newtons. Newtons. Okay. So uh, first thing we got was the z component, and that's most of the time you end up getting your z component first. All right. And now we're we move on to this dark blue plane now. Okay. So that's the one that I like to say. Okay, you're looking down from up here into a flat sheet of paper, right? And what you see is uh, let's see, you're going to be looking at your regular Cartesian coordinate system, x, y, okay? But this f, x, y is going in the negative y direction, okay? So it is going, it's actually going in this direction. Okay, this is f x y, and it makes an angle sixty degrees with the x axis, so it give us this. Okay, and now our job is to find the two ve the two vectors, two vector components that make up f x y. So it's going to be this one, which is f x plus our fxy, which is pointing down, so it's going to be negative. Okay, so if we, f if we get those two, we're going to have fx is 530.3, and it should, it should, it should, right now it should become natural, it should be coming natural to you, whether it's going to be cosine or sine. Okay, remember that in this case, the adjacent side is cosine, so it's 530 cosine 60, 530.3 cosine 60, and our fx, or sorry, our fy will be negative 530.3 sine 60. All right, 530.3. So that'll be 265.15 newtons. And then minus 459.3 newtons. And then if we write this down in vector form, we're going to have 265. Let's just do 0.2. Oops. 265.2. Oh my god. I. Minus 459.3j plus 530.3k. All right, and then do a react like a sanity check real quick. So we're gonna have plus an x component minus a y component, and then plus a z component. Y 
and f x. Okay, and there you have it. Your vector in Cartesian coordinate, Cartesian vector. All right, guys. This was the last video because I did 18 before, so this summarizes uh, this part of the book. And we'll move on to the the next section. Thanks for your time, guys. I uh, appreciate it. Leave a comment if you have any questions or concerns. I'll be happy to get to those. Thanks, guys.